I'm not worried about if he's not delivering fully in that area as long as he makes sure that the cow is milked that's fine <laughs> this week on living single las vegas just hurry up get it out get put get the money or give me the money quickly quickly if you have to do anything extra to show a man that you are her you are not her for him trust me about just wearing this it's a one piece you can't really see it I don't think but it is a one piece super chill little vibe I really don't feel like getting dressed up y'all I could do this number <clears throat> I don't feel like wearing sheer anything so freaking tired. No to that. I could do that. For the skirt. I think I'm gonna do this with some high waist pants. And some type of blazer. <laughs> So, so I spoke, you'll be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? I mean, grass now, dropping bum though. You're so, you so, you baby, baby, baby. I was on my empty mind, shit. I should have kept from choosing the best of me. I will be that I wasted the best of me. Zipping it up like that is just giving. If I can't zip it all the way to the mock neck, then I don't want to wear it like that. But my style is still very much all over the place, right? Like, I don't have just one specific style. I'm just that girl that puts it on, period. Like, no matter what it is, I always tell people, like, basically, I'm a chameleon when I dress, like, if I wanna, if I feel like being extremely classy, poised, and simple, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna kill that look. And if I want to be overly dramatic and ooh, and highly accessorized, I'm gonna do that as well. It's really up to how I feel, but also, it, it depends on the event that I'm going to. I will shift shape. Shift shape? Is that what it's called? Shift shape? shape? Yeah. I will do that depending on who I'm around, event, the event that I'm going to, and yada yada. But I'm finding that I'm really in love with the more classic, um, timeless looks now. There we go. <laughs> Period. Um, that's more my vibe now, so. That's what I've kind of been sticking to. For the most part. It's like a classic look. And I've always liked this look. Like, my whole life, I definitely have plenty of photos when I was 18 with, like, something similar on, to be quite honest. But now, this is becoming more of my go-to. So, yeah. And of course, and I'm not saying with age, you dress more mature. Because there are some young women that dress really classy, classic, and mature. All I'm saying is... That's not even really my story. I was going to say all I'm saying is that's my story. But I feel like as I am becoming older... I'm liking this style more. Gonna head up to the El Banco because I have to book me and Brianna's room and I really was supposed to do it two nights ago and then I got lazy and then I ended up spending the money that I put in my account today. So, 
so I'm going to try this again and then book the room tomorrow. We'll see. And life is just so wild. Like you really spend so much money. I legit have to marry rich. I'm not marrying somebody that's not doing well because even just life living I'm not like a crazy shopper like I used to be like I'm not going out buying freaking purses and shoes and shit anymore like I do for special occasions because I mean that's just not what's important to me right now like I need a new car and I would just feel really crazy to get a bag just buy like to buy bags every month and I know that I need a new car now, like I said, special occasion, I will. Car or not, I'm buying me what I want. For instance, if it's my birthday, what the hell? I thought I seen a motorcycle. Motor. A <laughs> motorcycle. Anywho, like, don't get me wrong. I will buy me something nice. But I am very mindful when I shop for myself. Unless a man is purchasing me something, I am going to get my things like off of clearance like if I go to Saks and I see some red bottoms for 300 I'm gonna get them oh no I could never get something on clearance like girl shut up shut up <laughs> it's the same shoes you bought five months ago shut up that you're definitely gonna wear again probably next year the year before the year I mean the year after the year after the year after I, I'm a, I'm a smart shopper when I do shop for myself, so. And I say that often, because I feel like, girl, I hate when people try and say, oh, if you don't got the money, and then don't buy it. Who said I don't have the money? Who said I don't have it? Just because I'm not crazy enough to spend $1,900 on some shoes that I know I can get for less money, <laughs> like, make it make sense so yeah and that's my vibe girl I'm gonna call the cops of your <laughs> if you don't pull off what is happening I'm like what is she waiting for now I feel like she's doing that on purpose so I'm jiffy Definitely the middle of the fucking bar. I don't know what else. Mm -hmm. Oh, girl. This is how to get home. Jura Jones came to Houston. Now a woman is homeless with three kids after moving to Texas to become a, a social media influencer. <clears throat> my thing is like that is cool but if you are not already a social media influencer making steady money and I mean very steady why would you move there with this you thought tech I have so many this girl has lost her mind I'm really not going I'm about to pull up behind her to make her uncomfortable cause pull the fuck off Later that night. Weirdo. Like, who does that? Look how fast I'm going. Fast. Like a NASCAR. Jesus. Weirdo. That girl just literally took like <clears throat> 10 minutes to insert $100 in her account. <clears throat> <laughs> baby when i am at the atm i am so terrified at night like i will <clears throat> baby the atm is so slow like that's dangerous hurry up get it out get put get the money or give me the money quickly quickly before somebody robs me i know i shouldn't be living in like fear and it's not that i live in fear right it's just that 
I live like I know the world and I do the world is crazy I'm not about to walk around like nobody wants me oh nobody would ever do that to me I would never get in a car accident I would never like I don't live life like that I'm realistic <clears throat> we are all human beings and people are dying out here every day from not watching their surroundings okay so that's all I'll say is I watch my surroundings and I prepare for the worst and there it is there so <clears throat> I try as much as possible and you could say if it's my time to go it's my time to go but what if it's not your time to go but you get scared to death because you literally just had to fight for your life because granted it wasn't your time to go but now you you're freaking scarred and don't try to hit me with it what happens in life is supposed to happen la, 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 la. baby spare me spare me spare me deeply mm -mm. no ma'am spare me all of that i've had a lot of lessons in life and i'm trying I'm trying to keep them where they are. What would be the lesson behind you getting robbed at the freaking bank because you had to pay a bill in the morning and so you had, like, oh, you got to drop it off earlier, but what about the people that do go in the daytime to handle their business and they get robbed? Like, let, it, all the what's supposed to happen happen people, so don't prepare for the worst. Y'all are, y'all are not my type of people, okay? Yeah, a lot of us are not prepared to fight for our lives. Or some people don't believe in carrying weapons. And now, like, somebody's in front of your house trying to freaking rob you with a knife or a gun. And you're just hopeless praying to God. You know what I'm saying? And God can't really help you. God gives us free will. And God gives us a brain. You know. <clears throat> God gave you free will and a brain. And you don't protect yourself with that free will and brain. I'm sorry, but that's just crazy to me. And that's crazy. I'm going to protect me and mine. And that's just what it is. And when I get a husband, I expect him to protect me and mine as well. Right? I, that's just what it is. I don't want some carefree man that's like, nothing will happen. We don't got to watch our backs. Like, I like nice things. I like living in nice neighborhoods. I like... And unfortunately, that may be a target lifestyle. So, miss me. Miss me with that carefree, don't care about anything. Going to visit men that you don't know at all with no type of precautions. Like, it's wild. You know, like baby you gotta have some you gotta protect yourself nobody's gonna protect you like you're gonna protect you and that's just what it is i'm so pretty with and without the filter when my face clears up it's over for you snitches i sound like a bet movie I've been waiting for you at the go. And probably just like go have drinks because that's literally what we always do unless we're on a trip. <clears throat> Girl, I used to love him. I used to love him so deep. And one of my homegirls was like, oh my God, you really like him. Two people said, oh my God, you really like him. <laughs> Baby, why are you shocked? Oh, why are you shocked? I like a man that treats me well. And I can literally call him to go on any trip in the world that I want to go on. So. so this night we indeed kept it very chill. I didn't get any videos because we didn't do much of anything. This was the day that he flew into town. So we just went to a bar inside of the hotel and had a good time, of course, as we always do. And that was the end for date one. I look cute, classy, classic, y'all know my vibe. I didn't want to do baby hair, but 
The way my hair was unprepared and it did not look silky, I had to slick that down. It just looked too bad. I'm bending down for obvious reasons. I have on the usual, just a couple of little bangles. One of my favorite denim blazers, uh, Givenchy earrings, um, TJ Maxx. I felt all of these Michael Core boots. They don't say Michael Kors anywhere on the boot, so I'm totally okay with wearing them. They're just regular, cute, pointy toe ankle boots, booties. And the pants flare, so only the tips of the boots show. Okay, time to see the vibe. Super cute, super simple. I'm just gonna wear my little Gucci clutch. I have a straw for my red bowl for when I get in the car, but yeah, I'm cute, simple, classy, classic. My favorite style because it's giving rich woman. <laughs> Y'all know what I wanted to say. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. Yeah, I'm on my way to a date. Um, it was, it's not really a date. It's just a friend of mine. Every time he comes into town, I, you know, clear my schedule for him. I don't really clear my schedule for him, but this is a guy that I used to be like oh my goodness head over heels for and then I just realized that it wasn't going to be anything however I get benefits from him so I did not delete him out of my life I do keep him around while I am a single woman um, he takes me on any trip that I want to go on anytime I want to go on a trip I can call him and say hey I want to go to Thailand hey I want to go to Germany hey and he will take me so I absolutely will always keep him around as a single woman because like I said I get benefits from him so even though I know that it will never be what I used to want it to be I can differentiate the two I am very aware that it ain't gonna be nothing no matter what smoke he tries to blow up my you know what I know the deal and I let him know this ain't nothing like we're cool you know the feelings that I once had are gone but I still like you you know I still you know we still I get benefits <laughs> why would I let that go they do it to us they keep us around because of how kind we are how beautiful we are how amazing we are how we make them feel even though they know that it will never be anything the difference with me is I did give him that door to be my man and he did what it with it what he did which is act as if he is so busy with work and all of that I don't care as long as I reap the benefits it's cool I'm not even going to speak on the situation because it's girl talk baby it's big girl talk but I will say um, again I do enjoy for now the benefits that I get being a single woman and he has to be totally okay with it because he made his bed and he lied in it so if I am busy and I have a date or something I'm busy and I have a date he knows that I'm, I'm dating around you know he's had his chance now again he is the only guy right now that I that I can call and go anywhere I want. Well, I have other guys that I can call, but I don't really like them. I love being on vacation with him. It's always a good time. So, yeah. Tea. My hands are probably ashy. I will lotion them until I get to the hotel. So we were supposed to go to dinner, but I couldn't leave the house until about like 9.30. Actually ended up leaving at oh my goodness does that say 11 30 bro 
<laughs> so yeah, I told him I couldn't leave until like after 9.30, but my freaking wig was still wet. This wig is just a mess and I had to wash it. Now I did start my process at five o'clock, so it should have been done, but I air dried my wigs and the wig just was not air dried in enough time. And like I said, I'm not leaving the house feeling ugly. I'm just not doing it. Again, I've done that before. I've left the house rushing and I like threw on an outfit. I did my makeup in the car and I hated my look and I was so uncomfortable the entire date that I was on. Even though the guy was like, you were so beautiful. I'm just, you know, still playing my role and thank you so much. But like, I really didn't feel pretty that night. I just felt like I looked crazy. And that's because I rushed it and I said, I'm not doing that no more, baby. It ain't happening. Like, at the very least, my hair and my makeup has to be good. And my hair and my makeup, actually, I believe my hair and my makeup was good. My outfit was just so hideous to me. And it was a double date and my girlfriend was like... It's just not something that I would have worn. And I decided I would never do that again. Ever in my life. Like, I don't care who I'm going on a date with. I'm not about to rush out of the house and absolutely hate how I look. And had I been driving, I usually carry heels with me. Like, extra heels. Like, regular heels that will go with anything. I didn't have any heels in the car and so yeah here's that anyway baby don't cut off those benefits ladies when a guy makes you upset but he gives you amazing benefits just don't act on emotion in the beginning sit it out wait it through and think about what you get from this person that you cannot or do not want from another person and I'm not talking penis okay if that is the benefit maybe you're on the wrong page because I don't play those games okay that is not a benefit to me unless you're like young and you just lost your virginity and you're just so happy about it and you just want it all the time <laughs> like if you're a grown adult woman if you're like close to 30 over 30 there's no way you should be making your decision based off of sex and sex only i'm not saying that it is not important it is 100 percent important but i do not think that it is for me it is not the most important thing because i'm not gonna get into like deep into it because it's tmi and this is not the conversation or the video for that but there's so many other ways to milk a cow. <laughs> There's so many other ways to milk a cow. So I'm not worried about if he's not delivering fully in that area as long as he makes sure that the cow is milked. That's fine. <laughs> The girls that get it, get it. The girls who don't, don't. But if you are solely, your whole, everything is based off of penis, good luck being very unhappy. Like, you're gonna be, like, super jealous and, like, I'm not, I do not care, okay? Because you already know how it goes. That thing, you will be dignitized. Easy. Easy. And a dignitized woman or digmatized woman is a jealous woman. That woman don't want you to go nowhere, do nothing. She's checking your phone. She's and why do you want to live like that? Like maybe do I want that? Sure, that would be so dreamy, but do I care about it? No. I don't. Trust me, as long as you're working with something decent. I'm 
good because every all the benefits that I reap is going to make everything so much more beautiful. It is what it is. If you get triggered by what I have said, this is not the page for you, okay? This is for the healing women. This is for women that want better. This is for women who like luxury lifestyle. This is for women who like to be wine and dine. This is for women who love to be treated with princess queen treatments. This is for the women that like to get their nails done and go to spa days and go on trips free. You know, th this is for those women. That's my page. My page is, is about being single the right way, okay? If you're gonna be single, don't be stuck on no BS. You're gonna be single, baby. Baby. <laughs> do that thing good, okay? I do single very well. But yeah, this is this page is for the women that are are tired of mediocre that want to live a soft life and I know that phrase is just so bleh now because according to the girlies everybody's living a soft life and although I want that for all of us everybody's not living a soft life baby me any man I'm dating when I'm dating I'm in soft mode 1000% I'm in soft mode when I'm at home of course I'm not in soft mode I'm a single mom you know and so I'm I'm really like 20% soft as a single mom if Denver had a father if there was a living father in the household I wouldn't have to discipline and I think that my job would be a little easier so I would be able to live in all of my softness but you know, I am soft whenever I'm around a man because that's just what it is. Like, I'm not opening doors. I'm not, I'm not doing any of the things. Like, I do all those things for my daughter because I have to, you know, a mama. I got to open her door and I got to do all those things, right? Can we get it together? my time and I don't really take my time but you know I have mommy duties I can't just go out and do whatever I want at any time that I want and any man that dates me just has to understand that unless he is paying for a proper sitter and I mean a proper sitter someone that I trust a very 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 five star just something incredible unless he is pre-planning his trip and and doing that as well 
then he doesn't really care about my time and what I have to do. And he expects me to drop everything, including my child, to attend to him. And that's not cool for me. So if you do complain, that is your option. And if you do not want that option, then you do not want me. And that is fine. And that's why a lot of men say they don't date women with children. And to be quite honest, I understand because a lot comes with us. We can't just get up and go, which is very admirable, admirable, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, because some women will just get up and leave their kids. Hey, you sound like you're at home. You sound like you're at home. And you sound relaxed. <laughs> Nice. So you had a rough week? You probably need to hit the spa or something. Go get a massage. Oh, okay, that's good. That's what I need to be doing. I always say I'm going to start putting my body first and getting massages often. And I just never do. I don't know why. It depends on when. I'm definitely down. I, I I definitely need one. I would love that. The 18th is not going to work. <laughs> I'm actually going um, to be busy that weekend. Friday until probably like Sunday, I think Sunday morning or is it Sunday night? I don't know. But yeah, that entire weekend I'm going to be busy. I would have loved that too because I need it so badly. Yeah, so he's pursuing me as well and I feel like this. First of all, like I have a friend that will tell a guy exactly what she's doing. Like if he's like, what are you, what are you doing? Maybe she'll just say, if she's going on a date, she will be like, I'm going on a date. And I admire that because, like, if you don't want me to go on dates with other men, then wife her up. Prove it, you know? So I love that, but also I'm, like, 50-50 because, like, I also believe, like they say, don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing type of thing. I don't think it's anybody's business. If they start to pry, then I mean, it is what it is. But because unless you have married me or are engaged to me, I just feel like really for real, kind of mind your business to a sense, you know, to it, you know, like you can ask just out of curiosity or just to make conversation. But when you get a little too pry, that's when it becomes a problem. So yeah I don't know I don't know that I would be like I'm on my way to a date Like, I don't know how if I would do that unless I'm trying to like upset someone like show someone like yeah you ain't him baby step up or somebody else will but if you gotta do that he's not gonna step up anyway if you have to do something like say I'm going on a date to make a man step up he doesn't want to step up they know what they are doing they know that you have plenty of options. They know because they chose you as one of their options. That means that they're attracted to you. That means that they know that other men are also attracted to you. So if you have to do anything extra to show a man that you are her, you are not her for him. Trust me. Trust me, you're not. You're not not going to make him stop cheating it's not going to make him love you more it's not going to make him pick you first now he may go through a period where he he is pursuing you but that's only because of his pride and he doesn't want anybody else to have what is his but it's not because he genuinely wants you because you won't have to do that to a man that genuinely loves you or respects you even like, let's even take love out of the equation. A man that respects you, you won't have to do all of that. Just come as you are, baby. And if he respects you, if he loves you, it'll show. 
so simple. Anything outside of that is a no. It's a no for me, dog. So as you can see, I just um, did a really, really, really light makeup. Probably do my makeup. If we decide to do something, I'm not quite sure. I'm sure I'm just gonna go around like in bar hop as usual because it's kind of late for dinner which I don't mind. I already ate dinner because I knew I was coming late. Um, it's really late to do much of anything. If I do, I'm going to leave really, really early for obvious reasons. One second. Hello? Um, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, but I haven't really explored it. I just went there and like was gambling by myself. And it was like, re I didn't really get to experience it, to be honest. And I keep telling myself I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah, I would love that. They have a, a bunch of nice restaurants in there. Yeah, that sounds great. Alrighty, bye-bye. Back in the